yeah, credit to, to Spider man, he pushed me. Um, forget this bro, I want the real one. But credit to Spider, he pushed me, man. Um, it's from your neck of the woods, John, Crystal Palace. But I, I rate him, you know, like I said in the ring, um, you have rivals, someone that will push you, but you never expect them to be around the same area as you. Well, I didn't anyway, so I'm not saying that I underestimated him, but we did 12 hard runs, so I, I have maximum respect for him. There was a moment where I was like, oh, you landed a good shot there. Um, be careful, be careful, Josh, but it's boxing, do you know what I mean? But it's good hard to rounds. Josh, what do you feel like you learned tonight going, going for this step? How much do you feel you can take away from that? A lot, man. I have to watch it back. Um, Joe and V back in the States, sit down with him, um, see what he thought about it. Um, I know there's work to be done, but so I'll, be, I'll be on it, man. I'll be honest, so um, it, was, it was a good 12 rounds in the bank for me. Was Craig more difficult than what you thought he might be? Not that, I mean, I, I haven't fought him, before. well, I've boxed him in the amateurs over three rounds, but I knew this was 12, so um, I prepared for 12. I, I'm not saying I came in thinking it would be less than 12, and it went the distance, so I, I had to be there every round. We saw yeah, <coughs> number five in between rounds, yourself and Craig always at the end of it, kind of looking at each other. Did you feel like if there was a bit more a bad spot, a bit more of a rivalry, a bit more needle in between rounds and at the beginning? Did you feel it today? I mean, we're from round here, so I was looking at the crowd and I was like, "Oh, there's that person, there's that person." There's familiar faces, do you know what I mean? So when there's familiar faces coming to watch you box someone that they probably know as well, you're like, "Well, I want to wake up on top," and that's what happened. You know, tomorrow night, God willing, tomorrow morning, so I wake up, I'll be aching, but I could say. I got the win, which was the most important thing. I thought it was a good performance. Um, there's a lot of things that we have to work on, um, but his grit and his determination, I, gave, I think, pulled through. Um, but as a trainer, you're never satisfied, and that's my job not to be satisfied. Otherwise, he wouldn't get better. So as soon as he gets back to the States, the fight did show me what we need to work on. Um, I think maybe he's a fight or so away from the title. Uh, you want him to be complete when he goes for that title, not just because he's in a position to fight for one, but you just want him to be complete. And he's not far away. I think the body work was exceptional tonight. Uh, I had a few people come up to me and say they never saw him work to the body like that. That's what we've been working on. As you know, I teach body shots. And, um, but there's some things we have to work on. But over and all, we got the win, and I'm proud of his determination and his grit. Nice, congratulations. Um, of all the scenario of possible future opponents, which Eddie runs through, like a little shopping list, which would be your absolute preference for your next fight? Whichever one's got the belt, I have no preference. You know, um, what we heard my coach here say, maybe a fight away or just to keep learning, because you want to be as complete as you can be when you fight for it, but for me, um, I hear what Eddie says, I hear what my coach says. I have no preference, just whatever is next is for me to go away, prepare to make sure that when the lights are shining like that, you come out on top. And he has a nice uh, well known coach. Good to see you again. Nice to meet you, um, seeing you. Uh, do you think he's ready for a Canelo or a Vivo? I can't honestly say that right now because being at the world title, level there's just some things i need to see so i can't understand it uh, but he's gonna always be in the fight trust me he's gonna be there so i'm not saying he would lose to bivel or canelo i think he'd give canelo fits that the type of his physicality would give canelo fits and he would wear canelo down um bivel there's some things i think that we should work on some more um and make him just complete give him the opportunity to win a belt and keep a belt not just fight for the belt and go back down, win or get a belt, and win a belt and keep a belt. Come on, better be have a great fight as well. War. Why are you going to have brain damage? In <laughs> it's a great <laughs> fight, isn't it? Style-wise though, isn't it? You know, it's a, it's a great fight. Yeah, it's a great fight. Eddie, there was mixed reaction to the scorecard. Some are saying it should be wider, some are saying it should be closer. How did you score it? I scored it 115, 113. I thought that was about the right, the right score. I, I felt that he had a big eighth round, Craig Richards, and I thought 
the ninth and the tenth was his opportunity to push on from there, but he didn't. You know, I think Joshua won the ninth. Craig finished the fight well in 11 and 12, but I just felt that Joshua banked enough of the early rounds. Uh, 115, 113, <coughs> I thought was fair. I, I couldn't see Craig as the winner of the fight, and I felt like Joshua deserved the win. And that's what I'm talking about. When before you fight for that title, you want to see him close the show, close it. 10, 11, 12, close it, dominate it. And then he's ready for a title shot. Danny, what would you like to see next with Joshua? Whatever, Virgil and, and Josh and, and 258, you know, whatever we discuss. I mean, look, it's so difficult to get a shot at the World Championship at 175 at the moment. You know, and, and I'm so pleased that he took the fight with Craig Richards because, you know, not having a pop at Anthony Yard, but he was offered a lot of money for the fight tonight. And he's waiting, he's going to be waiting for a year or so to get the title and then all of a sudden there could be an undisputed fight and sometimes you know you rather than wait for the perfect moment you take the moment and make it perfect and sometimes it, you, you've got you've got to take it and uh, I feel that if it's there you know the, the Bivol fight is, is a great fight but also we'll see if Canelo rematches it. Joshua, if, if uh, Canelo goes down the YouTube route and Bivol comes up something you feel you'll be ready for? I wouldn't say no, man. That's me as the fighter, but again, let Eddie, let V say what they want to say. And whatever it is, if they're like, yep, we'll have it, I'll, I'll be there, I'll show up. Eddie, there's always a talk about that to your fight. Which fight, sorry? Anthony Yard. There's always that talk. Bridge boxing fans want to see it. Is that even a possibility? Look, who knows? We, we may offer him so much money that I thought there's absolutely no way he'll turn this fight down and they still turn it down. And I don't know what he's doing. Like he's just waiting for a fight that actually isn't even there yet. But that fight fills up this place. That fight is a mega fight for British boxing. Um, but he's also had a big British domestic fight tonight. You know, you've got Callum Smith waiting for a shot at the world title as well. All these great domestic fighters waiting for shots, but Josh has come through his domestic fight and let's see the others in a domestic fight if they want. But for me, I would like to move him towards a world championship now. It's been six years since he turned professional pretty much, you know, after, after Rio. Probably could have had one or two fights more, got injured, you know, when he was supposed to fight Blasov and liked a holiday back in the early days, <laughs> you know. But always, because he's a perfectionist, he never wanted to take a fight three or four weeks later or just not being ready. And, you know, he's, that's why he's moved his life out with Virgil in California, because he takes it so seriously. I'm sorry? You should need to have to fly this part of your time. Where would you rank Josh in your cross of pupils? Where would I rank him where? In your cross of pupils or top fighters in the train. I think at this point he's the second best fighter I've had. I've had some good fighters, um, like Amir, but you know, they weren't dedicated like Josh. I take the dedication that he gives and that's what makes me excited for training him. So because of his dedication, coming over to the States for five months, that's a serious sacrifice. I even opened up my home to him, he's so dedicated. So I have him second on the list behind Andre. Um, everybody else I train, um, good fighters, but you know, always issues. So there are no issues with him. Fighters have a lot of issues and I don't like them. He has no issues, he just has straight dedication and determination. He's a good kid, he's a solid man and that, that speaks volumes for him. That's why I enjoy having him, and I want the best for him. All right, guys, one more, because we do have to... Uh, you think you had quite hurt in the stage in the, in the contest and it was a public hurt? I did, and that's why I rate him, because <clears throat> I had him hurt, and in my head, I was like, you're hurt, you're hurt, bro. But he was like, nah, nah, I'm not hurt, I'm not hurt. And it happened a few times, you know, um, and with certain opponents, when I had them the way I had Spider, I said, yep, this show's about to finish. But hats off to him. He's durable. Um, Spider was hurt, but he found a way. He gritted his teeth. He stood up. He held himself together. So I respect him. So, Josh, do you feel he did a better job against Craig than Bivol did? Um, for that fight, John, like I said, in the other room, maybe I watched round two. The next day, I might watch round nine, round eight. I can't sit down and say to you, I watched for round one to round 12. I didn't. So, and I've been off social media for the week. So when people are saying he um, gave a good account against Bivol, um, then Canelo did, I'm like, your opinion. I wasn't tuning in. 
I haven't made that comparison. So, um, yeah, but I haven't seen it once or twelve to comment on it. Well, I mean, it was a much more physical fight than the Bivol fight. You know, Bivol couldn't put a dent in uh, Craig Richards, didn't hurt him at all in the fight. But look, Bivol just beat Canelo Alvarez and, and boxed fantastic. Well, all those guys, that fight for me tonight was good enough to be for a world championship in terms of its quality, in all honesty. And I think, you know, both guys deserve a huge amount of respect. And on that note, it's 12.30. We've already wow. been charged overtime at the O2. Because everyone went points tonight. But Sorry, ladies and gentlemen, what a great performance. Joshua Watson. Thank you very much. Thank you.